This is the Diamond Hogs Podcast with Mason Choate and Robert Stewart. Welcome to the Diamond Hogs Podcast. We're coming to you live from O'Brate Stadium in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Arkansas just beat Grand Canyon 7-1. to one. Uh, Very impressive and dominant game. Probably Arkansas's best game that we've seen in, since, I guess, the Auburn series maybe, you think? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so we're going to recap that. We're going to talk through it. Uh, it's going to be a little weird. Robert and I are going to have to go back and forth with this mic. We, we're stupid with our equipment. Um, so we're going to get to all of that. But before we do, as always, we got to remind you about our sponsors and where you can find us. You can find us on the Hit That Line podcast network. You're probably listening there. If not, you might be listening on hogbeat.com, which is another place you can find us. We're on the YouTube. If you're on the YouTube, you can see the stadium in the background. We're in the Arkansas radio booth. Shout out to Phil Elson for letting us sit in here and uh, record the podcast. And uh, so you can watch on the YouTube if you want to see the background. You can listen on Hit That Line. And uh, thank you to both of those places for letting us put our podcast there. And thank you to Matt Moore State Farm for funding our trip up here. You might know him because he's a University of Arkansas alum, but you might not know that you can get great rates when you go to State Farm He is your good neighbor after all. I'm being for real. State Farm, they are the best way to go when you're getting quotes for insurance. You're going to get a lower quote, and you're going to be able to save money when you drive safe. And if you're a student, you get the good student discount if you have good grades. All you got to do is call Matt Morris at 501-568-3222, and you'll get your surprisingly great rates. I'm being for real. Just call him. Just call him. Even if you have other insurance, you might be able to save money by calling him. And it's going to be short. They don't take a whole lot of your time. They understand that you have time, um, that you got to put towards work, you got to put towards family, whatever it is. They'll they'll get stuff done in a short amount of time. So just give them a call. Once again, 501-568-3222. Three two 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 three twos three and then two two two. Matt Moore State Farm. Uh, individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Robert, I'll, I'll I'll give you the mic. Let you talk for a little bit now. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Uh, Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it in the open, right? One of the most complete games uh, of the season. We heard Michael Turner say that in the post game. Uh, I mean, couldn't agree more, really. Like, the the second inning was was a perfect encapsulation of that. You know, uh, strike out, double play, uh, excuse me, strike him out, throw him out, double play. Uh, You thought might have killed the rally. And then uh, it it didn't. They got the next next six hitters on board. And turn those into four runs, leading five nothing after two innings. Connor Nolan was just set up for success today, and uh, I mean, he he shoved. He went out there and shoved his, himself. I mean, I believe that was his first quality start since April 22nd back against Texas A&M. They ended up losing that game, but um, they won today. Seven innings of one run ball, just a solo shot. Uh, I mean, that's complete. That's complete, and. They only had to use Cole Ramage coming out of the bullpen for two innings, so uh, they're, the arms are fresh going into uh, this winter, winner's bracket game uh, tomorrow at 6 o'clock Central Time. Yeah, uh, I, I will say one of the things that Dave Van Horn talked about going into this game against Grand Canyon and just the, the preview of the regional and really after the SEC tournament was Arkansas has not gotten out to hot starts offensively, and not only have they not done that, but they've allowed other – teams to get off to hot starts offensively and that is the exact opposite of what happened today Arkansas comes out they score a run in the first what Caden Wallace solo shot and then they score four in the second so you're looking at it they're up five nothing after two and that's the recipe for success because Dave Van Horn mentioned it once you're up five nothing Connor Nolan comes back out in the third inning and he's confident and that led to him being able to go seven innings it's there's a big deal. It's a big deal when you're pitching with run support, and Arkansas starters have not been able to do that. And they were able. He Connor Nolan was able to do that against Grand Canyon today in Stillwater, and that's something. Looking forward, I mean, you you, you see it behind us. Who's that hitting batting practice? That's Missouri State. So Missouri State and the Oklahoma State they play tonight, six o'clock. The winner of that game, I'm going to be curious who starts for Arkansas, and if Arkansas can get run support like they did against Grand Canyon. Um, you mentioned Michael Turner. What a day for Michael Turner. Speaking of which, so I kind of went – maybe I went overboard on Twitter with the uh, throwing some shots, um, I guess, at the person who called Michael Turner a lot of names. And somebody tweeted at me and said, hey, this is uh, – it's getting a little too much. It's a little disrespectful. Maybe we shouldn't do it anymore. I agree. One game was enough. 
good for Michael Turner for going off and giving us the ability to do that and the opportunity to do that. But yes, moving forward, let's just stop. Worth noting really quick that his OBP since those comments is 800. He went three for four on the day, walked, drove in three runs, had a big uh, two-run single to cap the scoring there in the second, and uh, drove in another one in the sixth that I want to get to later because there was a really heads-up base running play by Brady Slavens right before it. All right, what, how do how do we want to start things off here? So I think, I, I mean, like I kind of hit it already, the Caden Wallace solo shot in the first, and then they score four in the second. So I'll let you go through that. Yeah, so that, like I said, uh, the, the sequence there in the second where they had six guys in a row reach uh, with two outs, that was huge. Peyton Stovall, of all people, kicked it off. Uh, didn't see that one coming, but good for him. Uh, Zach Gregory, uh, the ball magnet that he is, gets, gets hit uh, with a pitch. All of a sudden, the line's moving. Braden Webb, bloop shot. Uh, Slavens walks to load the bases. Caden Wallace picks up another RBI with a hit-by-pitch, and then Turner time comes up with, uh, like I said, the two-run two, two run single up the middle to cap things off there at 5-0. And then, uh, yeah, they traded home runs in the fourth. Uh, I mentioned that, that Nolan gave up a solo shot. Uh, Wallace hit another one in the fourth, so he's up to, what, 13 home runs on the year now, I believe. Uh, that's got to be but I gotta be close to the team lead if it's not. Look. Mason's looking on that right now. And then, uh, yeah, the sixth inning there, uh, Brady Slavens draws a walk to lead things off. There's a fly ball to right center field that uh, the center field center fielder catches going toward first base, away from second. So uh, Slavens comes back, tags up on a routine fly ball to right center field, is in scoring position, and then just like that, there's another RBI knock for Michael Turner. So, um, I mean, I know it was already 6-1 at that point, but that's a really, really heads-up base running play by Brady Slavens, and, uh, you know, hats off to him for that. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Braden Webb has 14 home runs. Wallace and one Wallace and Slavens are tied with 13. Um, I was trying to find this list of players that didn't show up or that weren't dressed out today. but I, Oh, here it is. Um, I'll get into that later. Right, we got to talk about Cole Ramage. He comes in, uh, three strikeouts, throws two innings of no uh, scoreless ball, two hits. So you throw two pitchers in the opening game of the regional against a good Grand Canyon team. You're going to need that bullpen moving forward. You're going to need starting pitchers moving forward. So uh, that was good for Arkansas. And, I mean, they, they hit the ball. They gave up hits, but they didn't give up runs. And that was the big thing. Defensively, I mean, the inning where Nolan got – hit by two liners like and he said he's okay one hit him in the forearm one hit him in the hip um but and I, I there were just so many good defensive plays aside from one and that was Zach Gregory's play in the first where he slipped and he, he would have caught the third out no one went through like 10 or 15 more pitches um so that was really the only mess up I think Stovall he had a play at first where Ready it hit that. hit it off no well, I'm, I'm saying the one that hit off his glove oh, okay. and they didn't get the out but he did have one also, where I mean, he slid and caught it over their shoulder, um, and then the very next out was another play, kind of like the foul ball in the College World Series, but it was it was a fair ball. But Robert Moore runs over, calls it, gets the catch. Um, and then right after that was the out. Right after that was the outfield assist from Gregory. So he made, he he made up for the uh, gaff, I guess, in the, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, okay, uh, I did want to mention the players that weren't here today because it was a little interesting. Uh, no Jude Putz, that's that's no big deal. Drake Varnado, not on the twenty seven man roster. He's that's in the por- he's in the portal, by the way. I don't know if you knew that yet. Uh Nick Moten, that's that's normal. Dylan Carter, Vincent Trapani, uh Peyton Paulette, of course, Jake Faraday, Mark Adamiak, Miller Plyman. I've heard Adamiak's in the portal as well. Uh Plyman, Cassiatori, Magre. Uh, Evan Gray and no Isaac Bracken as well. So no, so the big names are Varnado, Adamiak, Plyman, and Bracken. None of those guys. I've heard Varnado is in the portal. I think that's confirmed. I think Adamiak is confirmed in the portal too, but not a hundred percent confirmed. That's a lot of guys. That's a, that's a tip that you could you could find out on the Hogbeat message board. I see. Uh, so definitely ad- advantageous to subscribers there. Um, that's there's some interesting bullpen names on there. Adamiak, Plyman, uh, Magre comes to mind too. Huh. Yeah, so, uh, but like we said, Arkansas 7, Grand Canyon 1. They get the winner of Missouri State, Oklahoma State. If you're watching on the YouTube, you can see some batting practice right now. Um, 
I, I think that this game was huge for Arkansas's confidence. They said that the energy was different. Michael Turner talked about the rest that they had coming into this game. Um, they played like a different ball club. I know Grand Canyon is a team from a weaker conference. They did play very quality opponents. I mean, heck, I projected Arkansas to lose this game. Um, but I also said, like, I need to see them win and then I'll feel better. Now I feel like they're not going to lose a game. <laughs> so that's kind of how it's going with my mindset right now. Um, I think Arkansas, if they, I mean, if they play like they did today, they, they've got, a, like, a path to Omaha because, what, North Carolina, did we even check the update on that score? Pretty sure they won. You're pretty sure they won? They're, they're okay. leading last I saw. Okay. Well, when you talk like that, they can't hear in the mic, so. It's it's a bad setup. It's a bad setup that we can't do anything about it. Um, so, if Arkansas has to go to Chapel Hill, I think that's a good situation. But from what I hear, North Carolina is playing really hard right now. Yeah, confirm the Heels did beat Hofstra fifteen to four today. So uh, UNC is in the winners bracket, just like Arkansas. Uh, you you were talking about a second ago, like how are you feeling after this win? I'm not convinced yet. Like you said, Grand Canyon plays in a weaker conference. I will believe that. Arkansas can beat, uh, you know, a tougher opponent when I could see it. Um, I think everybody and their mother is expecting Oklahoma State to win this game that's uh, about to start behind us, um, except maybe Missouri State. They probably think they can win. Uh, that, that was interesting, though, from, from that press conference yesterday. They were like, you know, we beat Arkansas earlier in the year, so we feel like we can beat anybody at this point even with the uh, awful hotel situation they had going on. But uh, sounds like they got that resolved. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to see the Razorbacks beat Oklahoma State before I start drinking the Omaha Kool-Aid. Well, anything is possible because it's postseason baseball. We saw that last year. You see that every year. And uh, we'll see it moving forward when Arkansas plays the winner of Oklahoma State, Missouri State tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Huh? One more thing? Go ahead. Uh, one thing we haven't hit yet is that uh, Dave Van Horn was uh, showing the jersey today. Yeah. That, I mean – very, very unconventional from him, uh, talking about it with Andrew Hutchinson. It's got to be a superstition thing at this point, right? I mean, baseball players are creatures of superstition. Uh, and, I mean, Van Horn used to be one himself, so wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going on there. Maybe changing up the mojo in the dugout. Seemed to work today. Seemed to work today. I wonder if he goes with it tomorrow night because it's going to be evening. But we'll see. Like I said, 6 o'clock, Arkansas versus winter of Oklahoma State and Missouri State. Good for them for uh, avoiding the elimination game. What are you looking up? Weather. Weather. Okay. Weather. Uh, do you know what channel they play on? Is that? Uh, broadcast is TBD. Broadcast is to be determined. So we will, uh, if you follow us on Twitter, at Joe Mason and at DRS232, you can figure that out. And I want to remind you one more time about Matt Morris State Farm. He's the reason we're here. Give him a call, 501-568-3222. Um, for all of your surprisingly great rates. I'm telling you, the rates are amazing. And uh, not only do you get a good quote, but you also get better rates for performing better when you drive. So just call him at 501-568-3222. He's a Razorback fan like you. So he, he, you guys can talk about – like I, my, I, I talk with him about the Chiefs because I'm, I'm a big Chiefs fan. But if you talk to him, you can talk with him about the Razorbacks. I mean, he can be just like your buddy, but he can also get you a good deal on your insurance rates. So give him a call. Tomorrow night, uh, this is uh, you, tomorrow, 50% chance of rain, high of 82, low of 62, and still water. It's supposed to rain a little bit in the morning maybe, but uh, we don't know about the evening yet. Yeah, I mean, it could back the first game up. That's, that's something that is a possibility, but everybody's going to want to put on their meteorologist hats tomorrow and just make sure. But, yeah, it is scheduled for six. We will let you know on Twitter uh, when or, or where you can see the game on TV. My guess would be the SEC Network, but, you know, there are eight other teams in this conference in the tournament, so we shall see. All right, we'll talk to everybody after that game. I'm supposed to be driving back, so who knows when, where, how, who will be recording the podcast. But we'll figure it out, and uh, we'll talk to you all then. You've been listening to the Diamond Hogs podcast. Follow the guys on Twitter at Chote Mason and at DRStew32.